So Experiencing Blackpool is a chance for a secondary school drama group, uh, BTEC in this case, um, to work with a practitioner, a drama practitioner. So we brought in Paul De Beck um, from Theatre in the Quarter, he's a magician and an actor. The project really was um, bringing together lots of uh, different areas of the curriculum, so history looking back at Blackpool's, how it began, how it started, um, its boom eras in the Victorian period and the 60s as well, um, and looking at art, so uh, an exhibition retrospectively, and thinking about how photography can have an influence on performance, so then they were thinking about how um, research and history affects what people take photographs of or might look to take photographs of and then how that can reflect and influence what they actually create at the end of their performance. Well basically I mean I started the workshop with the idea of doing uh, intimate uh, sort of close-up magic show and uh, basically that kind of well it hooks the kids in first and foremost hooks the students in and um, and just gives them a little bit of uh, background on what I do uh, and, and how my credentials might be able to help them through the workshop. But, but first and foremost, it's just a great tool in, in, in getting their interest in, in magic in general. It's, it's great because it's, it's an immediate thing that they can, they can see I'm hopefully worth listening to. Throughout the rest of the, the workshop, I took some of the themes that I might have shown in that first little uh, show uh, as, as it was, and uh, explored the idea of misdirection um, and how that can be used to pull focus in amongst a piece of theatre, whether it be something quite abstract or, or even a, a music, piece of musical theatre, a piece of dance, uh, a monologue, how um, you can use misdirection to pull focus in different ways. And then also how, how magic has been part of Blackpool's cultural and entertainment history for the past well, well over a hundred years really. Um, and taking that as a starting point from some of the photos we looked at from, uh, from the collection, I asked the, uh, I asked the students to uh, come up with interesting ways of using, using their bodies as the props, being able to set the scene and, and tell a story and, and take a snapshot of Blackpool's history and Blackpool's um, theatrical and entertainment history. But, but just through using their acting skills and to be able to convey what we might have seen through some of the, uh, through some of the exhibition, just in a snapshot. Um, and, uh, and then we developed that into a, a slightly longer piece. Okay, what's happening here? The a bearded mermaid, I love it, I love it. That's awesome, right. So you're the bearded mermaid, okay. So what I really wanted the students to be able to do is to uh, create those snapshots without any props, uh, any costume, just in a black box theatre scenario. So basically, um, the temptation when you ask a, a group of students to to come up with a, a small piece of theatre or a vignette or a snapshot is to grab some chairs and some coats and start, start acting with them. But what I really wanted them to do was be aware of their bodies and ways in which they could signify certain parts of the snapshot, props, animals, people, just, just simply landmarks and how they could, in a, in a sophisticated way, get across that, that that is the snapshot and, and get the audience to be able to to just completely within a second go okay I know where we are or I know I know what this person is doing and through doing that I think that as an actor personally I know you become far more aware of space you become far more aware of working with others you come become far more aware that we don't have to perform stood upright or facing front to the audience or uh, in a neutral position and I just think it's a it's a great tool for, for good experimental play and, and I think that really is, for an actor or anyone studying the arts, can only be a plus. I expected at the beginning of the lesson, like, lots of magic to be happening and it did and he brought, like, lots of illusions to the class and we were all, like, blown away by it and it was, it was hard to understand but then when he showed it to us, it was like, how could we not understand that before? So it was really, really interesting to watch. Working with other people was, was interesting to know what other people's points of view are, views are on how to make 
our piece better and how to make it more interesting as well.